Hi everybody, it's Joni Young here. Welcome back to my channel for another painting tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint this lady wearing a floral dress. Very spring-like and pretty and abstract. I just love this one and I can't wait to show you how to paint it using Q-tips. And I've also got a couple brushes here, a number three round, and I've got a number 30 filbert brush. We'll be using some titanium white and some Mars black. I've got a 10 by 20 canvas here, 10 by 20 inches. So if you guys are ready to learn how to paint this, let's go ahead and get started. The very first brush I'm gonna use is my Filbert. I'm gonna apply a little bit of water to the canvas just to get it prepared to take the paint a lot better. Okay, the first color I'm gonna take is just some white here, and I'm gonna add this straight down in the middle. I'm going to add a little bit of black and I'm going to start adding it outside of the white that I just added. Add a little bit more to this side now. Bringing it in just a little bit over, partially over the white, so we'll make softer tones of gray. And then I'm going to increase the amount of black that I start adding. If you need to add a little bit of water, just add the smallest amount. Okay, now I'm gonna start on this side doing the same thing. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is just come right across with a leftover paint. I've hardly got any paint on my brush here. I'm gonna go up from the bottom of the canvas one inch and I'm going to just pull and now we have okay now that this is all dry I'm going to use my round brush this is the number three round brush and I'm going to start coming in with the figure I'm going to start with a little bit of black a little bit of white we'll make a dark gray and we're going to start with the head right about here. Now her, her face is going to be on an angle, so we're going to just kind of come from the forehead up here, in for her eye, slightly out for the nose, and then the mouth, and then the chin. And we're going to come around. Add some hair. A big bun. Bring her neck down. I'm gonna rinse my brush out. And I'm gonna push out the forehead a little bit while taking off a little bit of the paint. Push out the nose a little bit, taking off a little bit of paint. And soften the jawline. Bring down the hair a little bit. I'm gonna mix up a dark gray, just a little bit of white, a little bit of black, 
Yours can be a little lighter or darker than this. It doesn't really matter. Eyebrow, nose, a little bit of the mouth in there, chin, jaw, neck, and then we're going to add some shoulders here. So it's going to be on an angle. We're going to start to pull her arms out. Her elbow would be somewhere in here. Then we'll add the rest of her arm, wrist, hand, and thumb. So the thumb will just come down, scoop, and come down here a little bit, and her fingers out, and then curve up. Make this a little bit wider. Her elbow be right about here. Take a little bit of white, her thumb, fingers, we're going to puff up the shoulders. Bit of a shadow under her neck area here. Add a curve right here on an angle, pull it in to her waist and then out for the puffy gown. Breast and then in a little bit, down a little lower so it'll be slant like a line, a diagonal line where it goes higher up here on the left and lower here and then down for the gown. I'm going to add a little bit more black. Here along her hair. And her puffy shoulders. Okay, a little bit of dark gray. We're going to come down here and down here in the middle. And we're just going to blend that paint out. Add a few little dabs here with the gray, maybe for some flowers. We'll take just a little bit more dark gray, black, just pull a little mouth in there. A little bit of gray and then scoop up from the center. A 
I'm going to go back over to my 30 filbert and just paint this in with dark gray. And come right down here and have it kind of spilling out over the floor. We just want to get this kind of blocked in with this dark gray. You can use a little bit of water if you need to to help speed up the process and get it painted a little faster. And then we're going to come in and it'll be the fun part is coming in and creating all the little flowers with Q-tips. Now I'm going to take a little bit of light gray, more white than black, and I'm going to add a little bit to her arms here. So they're not completely in silhouette. Take a little bit more white. Soften the neck area. Gradually add a little bit more just inside the outline. I'm going to add a little bit to her forehead. Okay, now I'm going to take the Q-tips and I'm going to start, I've got three here, you can use more if you want, and I'm going to start adding some white. Just dab it into the white and just tap away and it's gonna look like little flowers. Now I'm adding these outside of the outline so they look 3D and like the petals are sticking out. If you want to do this one Q-tip at a time, you can. You can use more than this if you want. I like to push and tap and then turn each time so they're in a different direction and it looks a little bit more natural. I'm going to add some up here on her sleeves as well, or her shoulders. I'm going to add lots of little ones here on the biggest part of the dress and then down here I'm going to show you a different technique with the q-tips to make it look like bigger flowers. So I'm going to start making them a little bit bigger and I'm going to push and twist, load my the ends up, push and twist.
And I like doing this on a wet underpainting because then it picks up a little bit of the dark gray and you get different shades. But look at how elegant this is and we're using Q-tips. So you really don't have to have fancy brushes. Having good brushes is nice for certain things, but think outside of the box and don't always think that you need them to create something wonderful. So again, we're concentrating on bigger flowers at the bottom and then smaller ones at the top. So I'm gonna take a clean Q-tip and I'm gonna dip into the white I'm going to add little dabs. I'm going to dab along her, the top of her dress. I'm going to take a little bit of black too, and I'm going to add it in here to break up a little bit of all of the light gray and white. So we still have some contrast and some shadows. A little bit of black. spreading a little bit of shading right in here. I'm going to add a little bit down here. Wherever you envision a big flower, you can make them look like really stand out to be bigger flowers now by adding a little dab of black inside just these ones down here though and then I'm going to take a little bit more white and I'm going to come along the outline of the dress in the front Take a little bit more black and white to make some gray. I'm going to start to just roll and twist my brush around. Let's get all those Q-tips again, well, all three of them. And let's start to get a little loose and free and just have petals kind of falling around. I'm going to add a little bit in here. A little dab of black. I'm having so much fun with this. I can't wait for you guys to try this one. And the 
this painting is all done. I loved this. Hope you guys enjoyed this one too. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have fun painting yours. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and I'll see you very soon in my next video.